Community advocates say Columbus is facing a housing crisis. Last year, a count on a single night showed unsheltered homelessness almost doubled from 2022 to 2023. And we are just weeks away from getting the latest numbers. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. Carrie is off. While affordable housing remains a problem in Columbus, one mutual aid group is celebrating a big win after years of advocating. New tonight at 11, NBC4's Isabel Cleary shows us how they're helping people get inside ahead of a big temperature drop that's headed our way. Almost 30 people living behind a South Columbus mobile home park now have a warm place to call home. This comes after a group has spent years advocating for funding to make this happen. One woman says it's the first time she's had a stable roof over her head in 10 years. Excited, but also scared to death that it was all going to be pulled away. Amanda King lived here behind Fairlane Mobile Home Park for years. We just learned to insulate real well and we struggled a lot of the time trying to heat propane for heat. So a lot of it was just candles and body heat and just had to work together. It was horrible. That began to change when Emily Myers jumped in. She founded Here to Serve, a mutual aid group to support unhoused people in the city. These are my neighbors too. Um, I live in this area and so when I go out every single day with my kids, like these are the same friends I'm seeing. And so I told them, I made a promise. I said, I'm going to get you inside. She pushed the city for funding to make that happen. We continued our advocacy and just continued asking the hard questions, uh, being direct, you know, how, how are we going to get from point A to point B? Just consistently and not giving up even when I really, really, really felt like, you know, not very hopeful. Now here to serve along with the help of the community shelter board has moved 27 people inside a hotel. It doesn't end there. There are plans to find them permanent housing and jobs. The funding has been a really important part of winter funding that is provided from the city. Um, you know, there's a heightened urgency during the winter to get people inside. It's giving people a home who otherwise would be out in the cold. I am now in a hotel. I have a roof over my head. I have running water. I have lights. <laughs> like, uh, it, it's a miracle. This is something the community shelter board has seen work and hopes to continue. A few years ago, CSB helped another group move an encampment into a shelter. Now 10 out of those 13 people have permanent housing. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.